So first example, it's a classic one. It's not super offensive. It's regarding pizza this time. So sufficient necessary condition confusion. This is reversing conditions. Classic logical terms for this are converse and inverse. You may also see this referred to as reversal and negation or mistaken reversal. Mistaken negation is one common way to refer to this. So basically reversing things around the arrow incorrectly, also known as an incorrect translation of some kind. So if we have given pizza will make me happy or pizza requires that I be happy, if that's given, an incorrect translation would be reversing those variables around the arrow without negating. So a flawed conclusion or a flawed inference would be the converse or a reversal saying happiness requires pizza. But if I'm happy, is that because I eat pizza? No, it could be a variety, due to a variety of other factors. Lots of other things could make me happy as well, not just pizza. Sunshine, puppies, getting 180, all of those things could make you happy. Pizza is not the only thing. Pizza obviously helps though. Inverse would be negating both variables around the arrow without reversing the order. So saying, if I don't eat pizza, then I won't be happy. That's also problematic given the original. We said in the original evidence, pizza is sufficient to make me happy. But again, pizza may not be required. Lacking pizza alone doesn't guarantee that I'm not happy because other things could still make me happy even in the absence of pizza, like burritos or sushi could also make me happy. Pizza is not the only thing that would get the job done. So that's the quick two, two minutes on that. I've got a video that goes into this in more depth called Conditional Rules, Failed Contrapositive Attempts, and it's in the Logic Games Foundation section of the course, lesson number three. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.